All right, here I am again. And today, Scott and I went thrifting again. Not sure if he'll come in or not. He's watching something in the front room. But I thought I would quickly come on, ignore the laundry basket. Okay. Um, I forgot that was back there. <laughs> but I thought I'm going to quickly share what we picked up. I got, we got some books. So the first book I'm pulling out is The Joy of Quilting. And I forgot to do all the things again. Hi, Kathy D. So I got the Joy of Quilting. Scott spotted this one. And it's just, you know, it's got a lot of the real basic stuff in here. And I didn't already have this book. So I thought, yeah, I'll get it and add it to my quilting books. And then there was another quilting book. This is the one I spotted. It is Scrap Patchwork and Quilting by Marty Mitchell. And the whole reason I wanted this one is I could have probably printed this offline, you know, almost all patterns are available online, but um, they call this little English lady. And uh, it's this pattern here. And the reason I wanted that is my uh, great aunt Nellie used to make the English lady is was one of the patterns she used and um, made quilts with. I wish this had the um, teddy bears in bonnets that she did because that's the one we received from her for our, our wedding gift. And we used it and it's falling apart. And so I've, I've actually tucked it away so that I can trace the bears out and make us a new one because I'll never get another one from my great aunt Nellie. She's been gone for many years now. So it's just got a little, look at these stars done with string piecing. That is gorgeous. And that light is washing it out. Too much light now. One, one of these days, I'll, I'll conquer, conquer uh, lighting and all that. But it's a really pretty, there we go, quilt. So I got two books on quilting. And then Scott got one on, it's a dummies book. Um, digital SLR photography all in one for dummies. And we have a camera he bought for me, and I could never figure it out. And he admitted to me today that he's a little intimidated by the camera as well. And so when he saw this book, he thought maybe it would help us with it. So there's that. Um, the, the hardcover books are $2, and any of the softcover books are just a dollar. And then the other book that we got is a wood turning book, Craft of Wood Turning by John Sansbury. And uh, Scott would love to learn and do some turning at some point in his life. So I said, grab it, pick it up. You know, you can turn all kinds of stuff he actually has a friend that does wood turning, and he made a pen for us out of wood. Somewhere I have it here. I kind of don't use it because it's so pretty. I don't want to use it. So let me say hi to Angie and Joyce and Kathy D and Sharon Reinheimer. Um, and I think that's everybody. Some people are still watching um, Bath, and that's okay because I'm doing this impromptu. And then we were in line and the line was really long because they only had one register open 
and I saw this just like this. So I went, it was already open. So I pulled one out and what they are is craft envelopes. So I got these for $3.99 and there's probably about a hundred of them. And these are perfect to create journals with or to just do painty envelopes. So I grabbed those to add to my envelope stash so I can do some painty envelopes. And then I picked up two patterns, which I kind of feel like I may already have this one, or maybe I had it and I donated it, but it's a, it's so easy. Simplicity pattern 4023. Got it for $1.99. I looked at it. It's not even been cut out or anything, but it's uh, knit tops and slacks. And I thought with summer coming, I might want some t-shirts and the little t-shirts use just a yard of fabric well, a yard and an eighth, um, probably just a yard if it's 60 inches wide. Well, they say 60 inch wide fabric is what they want you to use anyway. So I got that one and then I got, I had picked these up the last time we were there and I said, if they're still there, I'm gonna go ahead and get them. I got this teddy bear. It's such a cute teddy bear. I hear Scott headed this way. This is McCall's 8610. Hi, y'all. And then I picked these up. I have a two-hole two punch that punches just two holes like this. And so I picked up some of these prong fasteners. And I was just going to see if... I could combine these and maybe use this to put things together with these. I don't know. These are paid $1.99 for. So that's why I got them because I have this punch and I've never used it much. And like I, I was saying earlier in my, my other video from yesterday, they're saying, hi, Scott. Um, I'm trying to use this stash up. And again, I'm still adding to it. <laughs> But I am trying to go back. And then we went to the Goodwill. I went to, we went to the other day and I'd left those bags of yarn I was talking about. And I'm, again, I said, if they're still there, I'll go ahead and get them. Well, two out of the, I found two out of the three bags. And so these were $4 a bag. So I got that one and I got this one. And let's open it up so we can read these labels. Maybe if I can just rip a hole because they got like a thousand pounds of tape on it. This is from Norway. So Norsk, I'm not even going to pretend. But it's a strange thready yarn. I don't know what this was. I might have to put it in, type it in and do Google Translate because I don't know what this is. But they call it 100% S-P-E-L-S-A-U-U-L-L. -L. It's Norwegian. I have no idea. So I don't know what it was used for or anything, but I'm really thinking I could stitch with it. So I got several skeins in this blue here. And then there's dark navy, and then this kind of teal, and kind of um, just blue, I guess. A little bit of purple, another of the navy blue. Well, this is weird. It's a bag in a bag. Wasn't that strange? And this is some rust color here. I'm going to put these back in here so the cats don't get on them. And I said in, in my live from yesterday that we weren't going to go thrifting today. But Scott's like, I need to get out of the house. 
So I said, okay, you taught me into it. <laughs> Hi, Kathy. And then I got um, this other bag, and it was also $3.99. No discounts today. But these are all earthy, kind of rusty colors. That look really cool together. All those different colors. Let's see if they'll all fit in one bag. I doubt it, but I'm gonna do some research on this and try to figure out exactly what it was meant to be used for. Because they're look how small these skeins are. I can't even read how many yards are in them because mm. It's in Norwegian. What one is the Norwegian? Norwegian. So, this has a lot more shoved down into it than you'd think. Let me go get my phone. Uh oh, is it out in the garage? Yeah. It's a lighter color. Just, I just thought it could be fun to stitch with. That's why I said, if it's still there, I'll get it. That is a red. So, I think Scott's going to go get his phone and maybe do some translating for us. But $8 total for all this yarn here. All those pretty colors and I, I'm really leaning toward using it for like cruel work or embroidery so I guess that was okay for that I'm gonna leave that one out so he can look stuff up when he comes back and I also got I, this um, comfy classic in khaki it's a yarn bee yarn. It was on clearance at Hobby Lobby for 99 cents, and I paid 99 cents at the Goodwill. But I've never used this yarn. Um, it's stretchy. So I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what I'm going to make with it because it's not really, I don't know. That's going to take some thinking. And then this was 99 cents for the fat, chunky yarn in the pastel -y, very girly colors baby blue pink and purple and then at the bins they charged me for a full pound which they've gone up on the um price per pound and she put it in price per one kilogram so the registers are even all weird but I know this thing did not weigh a pound. This did not weigh a pound. This is all I got. So, oh well. I guess it was worth $1.89. But it's just a little tin that I thought I could put just my regular drawing pencils in. Because I love the scene on it. Isn't that cute? With the rabbits. So instead of having my drawing pencils in this tray where the cats keep stealing them and crunching on them. They probably won't all fit in here. Like this here. I was going to see if they fit in here. Scott said, oh, that's the perfect um, width. I don't think they're all going to fit in here. I might go through my pencils and maybe put just like my um, HBs in here. Let's see what we get. Got my little extender. They're not all going to fit in here. But even if I got just one like set with like all of the numbers and a, and then a white eraser and a pencil uh, sharpener in here. Put just a single sharpener in here. I could add this to my, my backpack that has art supplies that I could take with me 
you know, to go to like the river to sketch or something. So that was my idea for that there. And Scott is back. Across the street neighbors are getting good and drunk up over there. Yeah, I just hope they're not beep, beep, beeping at 2 o'clock in the morning like they were this oh, yeah. morning. I didn't sleep worth beans last night anyway. When you're young, you do things like that. Yep. yep. I just try to overlook it. A kilogram is 2.2 .2 pounds. Wow. I know that thing didn't weigh 2.2 .2 pounds. I was just looking at this receipt and it it's one kilogram. It's not even by pounds. And the sign says $1.89 a pound. So they're probably overcharging oh, no. like crazy. Math is hard, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if they just don't understand that that's way wrong or what. But I told them about your books or whatever. Yeah. So yeah. that's all we picked up thrifting. What's um, this thing say? It's 100% something. Mm. It's got a telephone number there. You can give them a call. Uh, There's not a barcode on it. No. So it's like pre 80s. Is, is, it, it, sink? is it smelly? Yeah. It says something for Norsk Spinnery. Well, let's type that in. Yeah, I'll hold it. You type it in. You tap it in. Spinnery. S P I N N E R I four N O R S K Norsk Spile. So, so oh, oh, that's, that's a lot of vowels. Well, it's a lot of, uh, yeah. Well. Come on, phone. It says you left me in the garage. Yeah, yeah. Cookies, whatever. Track everything I'm doing. Oh, so these are plant colored. That's interesting. Is that the same place? No. No. North Cuscovartica. Maybe they're not. In. Maybe they're not in business anymore. It's not even a one or a fingering weight. It's smaller, so it's almost like a thread. I guess. That's the type of uh, material is the spell soul. Oh, spell soul. That means this song wool, I think. Moth proofed and color fast. Translate to English. Spinning mill for Norwegian. Oh. Well, that's the best I can do, I guess. Okay. Well. It's wool. It's wool. So, I got a box right here. I'll step out of the room so peeps don't Hi, hear Hi, Allie. Blah, blah, blah. 
Uh, Scott, you are a scholar and a gentleman. Pardon? They said, Kathy said, Scott, you're a scholar and a gentleman. Oh, yeah, I. that's what I was thinking. I could maybe use it um, in that boho piece. Maybe, so. maybe you could surprise me and make something nice for me. I don't know. It's awful thin. Awful thin. I think it would work great for sewing. I haven't been very good at keeping up with my phone today. He's got his um, booster all set up so we can pick up the internet in the gar in the garage better. Yeah. So maybe we could do a, a project update out there. Maybe. So tomorrow we'll visit his mom and Ann's not going to be on. So I'll have to find something else to do between five and seven. The neighbors are lucky you're not one of those crunky, cranky old men. We've got a, a there's, house across. There's cranky young men. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a cranky young man. But um, it, the house across the way is a rental house. And it's a party house. And then at the top of the street, there's another rental house that's a party house. So, it, yeah. It's full. the 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 roads ways. We're gonna have to if we go anywhere tonight this late, which we aren't. We'd have to be careful backing out of our driveway because they park right at the end of the driveway across the way. And if we don't pay attention, we only if one of us needs to go to the hospital or something. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not planning to do that. Last night I almost had you take me. That's a lot of that stuff. I know for eight dollars. So. I guess that's not too bad. And it's wool. So. Allergies are wearing me out. Yeah. It's yellow season. I mean, pollen season. <laughs> the wind blows and it's a yellow fog. Yeah. Um, Kathy said Jeff's talking about it. We picked this up at the thrift store for $7. The booster TP link. Oh, it works so good. You just you just plug it into the wall by the router and connect it to the router and then plug it in at the remote part of the house or in my case out in the garage. And then I I connected a spare router up to it out there in the garage. And it's working good. Yeah. We saw another light set today. Uh, yeah, there was another set with built-in wireless. We could run back and get it for you, Kathy. It was what? I want Eight dollars. Yeah, this was like seven dollars. Yeah, and the one we saw today was like eight bucks. I wonder if this is still available online. I don't know. Look it up. Look it on that jungle place. Jungle place. They have everything. Yeah, we ought to run back and grab that for Kathy. All right. And we'll just send it to her. I got two spare of these. I can send her two of them. I was thinking maybe we'd want to set, put one of those out there in the bonus room. Oh, uh, we could. Yeah. We could set that up. To boost it up out there. Mm -hmm. And that other set we saw today had everything too, didn't it? It had built-in Wi-Fi. Yeah, built-in Wi-Fi in it. What am I looking for? TP link. So we'll have to get up and run over to Goodwill and grab that. Yeah. TP link. AV 600. It would still be less than uh, at the store. But she's talking about the shipping cost would run it up. So you, you can still you, get that. You can still get that new. It's 33 bucks. It 33. comes with two of them, but there were four of them in this box. Yeah. So we paid seven dollars, and that for one on Amazon it's thirty three ninety nine, and and it only has two in it, and this actually had four in the box, because Greg has been saying the whole reason he's set up out there in that one corner is because it does the 
internet doesn't reach all the way to the end of the house. Oh. We'll talk about it. I'll have to see if I can get another router. Oh. I think we saw one new in the box. Yeah, we probably did. That was in West Columbia, wasn't it? I think everything we saw today was in West Columbia. Oh, hi, Leah. Thanks for popping in to say hi. All right. You got anything else? You got any projects you're working on? Uh, squirrel proof in the, the, the latch mechanism on the <laughs> Oh, gosh. That, oh. That'll be my retirement life is uh, squirrel proofing feeders. Squirrel proofing feeders. Yeah. During. Um, I think the squirrels will probably eventually win. The squirrels may be smarter than we. <laughs> Could be. Today I did some more cards um, during the um, live craft and chat that we got for Janet. So let me get the ones that I did today because you have already seen. Medication those. makes me really sleepy the first two, three days. Yeah. I just wish. I That's could... all I want to do today is sleep. That's what I did the other day, sleep. So I forced myself not to, so I'll sleep tonight. This is the card set that my sister gave me. And I just have the pink, orange, yellow, and green left to do. The other ones I've already done. I made, what did I say, 13 cards today during the live for, for Janet. Um, so I just used the card bases. A pa the tie-dye paper pack and the washi tape that I picked up at Pop Shelf and my label maker. So I have a bunch of these with the butterflies cut out. I like that Pop Shelf store. I do too. It's like a, it's like a dollar store, but the merchandise is actually up on the shelves and not in boxes. it's not in boxes sitting in the hallway in the floor. At least that's how most of our dollar stores are. I think they're most of them. And somebody said that Pop Shelf is actually owned by like Dollar General. I don't know where the stores are in the commercials where they're clean and the aisles are shiny. I don't I'm know. Just, where, where is that store at? It's the one that's at during their grand opening. That's the only time a store is like that. It's when they have you're, training hours. You ever see blow. those Walmart commercials and this is these nice wide aisles and floors all shiny. Yeah. And there's not like a kid riding a bicycle in the store. Really. That was the hello <laughs> cards that I've made today. And then I did some thank you cards. And these, I didn't add anything up here. It's just the washi tape and my sentiment. So I just made some fast cards today. And since I didn't get to show them on there, I figured I'll show them now. So this is just a piece of the scrapbook paper cut to fit the front. And then the washi tape is on there. And then I added a little sentiment with my label maker. And on this one, when I went around it, I used the gel pen that looks green when you put it on, but it changes to gold on there, which I think is cool. And then the last one is this one. And I'm making like hello and thank you and just a note type cards to um, use that washi tape and to get these cards all made up. So I'm at the halfway point. Upscale dollar store. Exactly. Yeah. Renee, Renee, Renee. Renee says that their dollar stores yeah. have all aisles. Or all aisles and show me. Yeah. Well, Pop Shelf is like really nice. We should have took a picture inside. Yeah, our like both Dollar Tree and Dollar General. There, there's all but it's just a mess. 
There's stuff spilled on the floor half the time. They got smart with the new Dollar Tree that opened up next door to Joanne's and they didn't put carpet down. It's just a concrete floor so they can actually clean it. That that one down the road right. has carpet on the floor. Your feet, your feet stick to the car. It's like being in the uh, in the uh, in that bar we went to. Dawn's. That was Dawn's. Was that no? I'm thinking about down in Five Points. Yeah, that was Dawn's, where your feet stuck to the carpet. It's across the street from uh, group therapy. Well, group therapy, your feet stuck to the floor. Yeah, but I expect my feet to stick to the floor at group therapy. Yeah. And it might be something other than beverages. Yeah, it was pretty it was dark. <laughs> it was it was pretty nasty. <laughs> and little like it's like an alleyway with a roof. Well <laughs> the way they the the stalls, they're like stalls yeah. in there. It it it's like they're hurting animals about. And I guess when you get drunk enough, you are like an animal. But they, they they have like these slots that you could barely get in and just a narrow table just to hold drinks. And sometimes it'd be packed. You couldn't, oh, probably, you you couldn't, couldn't. probably move and it'd be like... It was way past capacity. And regardless of whether you're male or female, it, sometimes it's like, who's grabbing my ass? <laughs> <laughs> oh... That Allie was, says one of their dollar stores smells just like smoke. That's like our they, oh, uh, the S, S Mart. S Mart. The manager smokes in the store, so all the goods stink like cigarettes. I just don't. Technically, in the state of South Carolina, you're not supposed to smoke in restaurants and stores at all. Mm. Um, we were kind of shocked in Greenville. We went to the uh, Monterey's up there, and they still had a smoking section which I didn't think they could do that anymore, but who knows? That, uh, they had an Applebee's up there where they smoked in it too. <sighs> pretty, pretty bad. I think we went to the last sizzling steakhouse open in the world. Up there. Yeah, it's closed now, right? Yeah. That was in um, Clemson. Clemson. Clemson yeah. In Clemson. Not far from Clemson University. Yeah. And um, we used to go there for steak. And it was just like in the old days. You remember when we had steak houses? Um, we had what? Ryan's Steakhouse. We had Western Sizzling, Western Steer, Steer, Quincy's. Western Steer and Western Sizzling were just about across the street from each other on Knox Habit Drive. Yeah. I miss Quincy's Big Fat East Rolls. Oh, my God. Those were so I'm good. sorry, guys. Allergies is killing me. I will take me a Benadryl tonight. You sleep then. My stomach's not hurting. I've eaten very little today. So I'm not going to eat anything else at this hour. Get a big glass of water. Um, oh, somebody said this. What? They have 20 and something in 21 states. I wonder if that's dollar stores or Western Citizens. No, that was earlier. So it might be the pop shelf. Mm hmm. Oh, could be. You can't see Joyce. Well, she was here all the way at the top. It's the new medication I'm on. Um, Scott's on it too for our diabetes. And um, it works because you cannot eat. And, uh, <laughs> and we're both losing weight. So we're... Uh, it just it makes you feel full because it slows your digestion. But um, I'm having a harder time adjusting than he did. You can go ahead and continue to eat, but uh, you'll be sorry. You'll be you'll sorry. You'll be very sorry. You. <laughs> you'll be hurting. It you hurts might throw up. really bad. And Kathy says she hates the yellow stuff too. It changes your. Uh, sense of smell and sense and of taste. taste in the savory things that I used to just really love. I used to, I used to just love to walk in my house and, and smell caramelized, caramelized onions, onions or, or garlic, these nice, really strong, savory odors in there. It'll make you just about rich. <laughs> just... 
it's not ribelsis. We had taken ribelsis, but now we're on a weekly shot called Monjaro. Yeah. And my sister takes the Ozempic um, yeah. uh, variety of it. And um, Scott did his shot today. You just give yourself a shot in the belly or your thighs or up on your arm here. So the first day I take the shot, I'm really sleepy. And the next day, too. I don't know why it makes me sleepy. And Renee, I have the opposite effect. I can drink very little coffee. Hot tea, I've switched back to hot tea. I grew up drinking hot tea with my grandmother. I never had coffee until I moved out of her house. Never. I've been such a bad influence on you. <laughs> and we used to drink our coffee well polluted with cream and sugar. And now we just drink black coffee. Well, I still like coffee. But it has to be fresh. If it's the slightest bit burnt, burnt down in the pot, I can't stand it. This is the thing about what happened with us in the ribelsis. Um, we went from having really good health coverage to him on the temporary service. We were buying insurance. Very, very, very expensive insurance that didn't pay you though. that didn't cover much of anything and those type drugs were not covered at all none of them not ribelsis but, not munjaro not ozempic but when i worked for abbott labs uh, they had really good insurance yeah so. well abbott labs is a medical yeah. they want to take care of their pre people it's it's very hard to get really good insurance. The insurance we have now is good. Yeah. I mean, uh, oh, yeah. I love it. It's some of the best insurance I've ever had from my Hitachi. Yeah. Renee said the Ozempic was um, effective, but it was impossible to get around here. Um, yeah, it's yeah. in short supply. Yeah. So. I think it's because there's so many people on it because Ozempic was the one that um, they, the d doctor in Greenville wanted to put me on and I refused. They uh, <clears throat> advertise it as a weight loss drug too. Yeah. Or it's FDA approved for weight loss. Yeah. I agree. Insurance is a big scam. We called to... Um, to see about our auto insurance today. Well, Scott did. And it was going to cost us a lot more than what we're currently paying. Yeah, so I, we're just I got a quote say. from a different company. And it was about twice as much what I'm currently paying. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> so, well, I, I guess I'll uh, pass on. I guess we'll just keep on with the company we're using. So, anyhow. I might else? just put... I might drop full coverage on that truck. It's so old. Yeah. I might just run with, what is it, a liability. We checked with AARP, and it was going to cost more than what we're paying now, too. We did that several years ago. Hey, Peg. Oh, yeah. So basically, we're taking this for diabetes, not weight loss, but weight loss is just a side effect of it. So, lost 10 pounds. Yeah, I've lost 13. And my blood glucose is back down. It has never been below 100 since 15, 20 years. It's never been below, but now I am. I got my skinny pants back on. Woohoo! Skinny pants. So we're going to have to go shopping for Scott because I think he has one pair of skinny pants. <laughs> yeah. So and he needs clothes to go to work. I can wear the same old, same old, or I can make myself something with my stash of fabric in the back. I'm pretty bad about not buying clothes. Yeah. You know, as, as long as the jiggly bits are covered up, <laughs> I'm pretty happy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um. I pulled this. I was going through my clothes today and I found this jacket I'd picked up at that yard sale. And 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and take it apart. And what I'm thinking about doing is because of Scott's comment. I'm going to make an Easter bunny out of it. It's going to be a bad Scott Easter bunny. So he's going to be black, charcoal black. Okay. So guess, then we'll I have guess. to come up with clothes for the bad bunny. <laughs> But this came from Old Navy. It looks like it's real been, and I haven't worn it. So I said, you know what? It's going to get used for a rabbit. It's really soft. And it's way too small for my guys. Um, there's no way, even skinny, skinny, this would fit Scott. And it definitely would not fit Greg at six foot three and this wide across his shoulders. The Skinny Jeans song. I don't know that one. I'll have to look it up. I keep looking at the chat over here. So I don't think I have anything else. Anybody got any questions for us? Uh, if not, we're going to sign off and say goodnight because it's after 10 o'clock. Oh, I haven't even brought the dog in yet. I'm a horrible dog parent. I really am. You'll send it to me. Yay! <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to say good night then. May I ask how old Greg is? Greg will be 38 in August. And on that night, we'll say good night. Good night. Bye.